Mm -hmm. Hey, good girl. Yeah. It was eight pounds and what? Twelve ounces. Twelve ounces. Ooh. This is Nala's one month appointment and she has grown almost close to three pounds since she was born and she's 21 inches so she's an inch and a half more so she's growing she's getting bigger big baby I know she's been eating it's about normal size right now yeah she's sleeping but she's supposed to get her shots today so oh she is supposed to get her shots huh I don't know how that's gonna be gotta hold her Probably not, but it's probably do a shot in her foot or something. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be back. Good morning. Morning. So how's the month been? Have you gotten to any better patterns of sleep or or? Uh, it was better, but lately she's been I don't know really hungry. So that's a growth spurt that will happen around week three to four, which is not unusual. Um, usually around this age, they start to develop that baby acne on their face, little bumps on their face, neck and chin and shoulders. They'll sometimes have some increased hunger. The first three months really are the hardest time for the infant stage. Mm -hmm. And then it gets easier until um, like around those little twos that come around 18 months of age. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so you're, you know, you're going to get there. Um, mm -hmm. The sleeping, how are you doing with her sleeping at night better than day? No. No, not yet. All right, so take opportunities. Your job to get this to work is mm -hmm. to wake her up during the day every couple hours. Do not let her sleep the day away. Let practice putting her down in her bed on her back still awake mm. so she soothes herself or you soothe her with the pacifier and she learns to fall asleep but on her own not being held mm. that's the key is breaking the association of being held to sleep versus mm. laying on her back to sleep because then she'll be able to do it over and over again throughout the night because she doesn't need you to get her back there um, yeah. That's she is, what seems like it's getting worse. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, during the little growth spurt, it might, but you just have to keep knowing that that's the right thing to yeah. do is to keep teaching her. Mm -hmm. Now, her growth is good. Her growth chart shows that her weight and her height are fabulous. She's shot up to right at average weight, average height, okay, so average it's not too head. Much. Mm -mm. Okay. I no. wonder if she's like overeating <laughs> no. at this point. No, she's right where she needs to be. She needs one shot today, which is the Hep B that she's gotten at birth, which is um, not going to cause any side effects of fever. Mm -hmm. um, so she shouldn't be fussy from the shot. Does this look like, like, because I know last time she was getting like the baby acne early, but I just noticed like it seems like it's like drier along with cheesier i think that's a combination of baby acne and eczema yeah, so the ear weird. is eczema so that some of the like dry it. sheen to so it silly. yeah she's got baby eczema I we can't so. treat that with an actual prescription until she's a little larger mm -hmm. around three months of age we can do that mm -hmm. so right now you can still just use a cetaphil or an aquaphor like anything mm -hmm. dry flaky shiny dry mm -hmm. you could put aquaphor on okay. it and that would be fine all right let's take a look at her 
Yeah, so you're just gonna have to kind of <laughs> work through that with not much but Cetaphil and Vaseline or Aquaphor mm -hmm. until we get a little bigger. But she mm -hmm. is developing some baby eczema. Sounds good. I would definitely put Vaseline or Aquaphor on this ear and behind the ear too because mm -hmm. it can e even get to the point of cracking. Mm -hmm. It's not there yet. And then you come. Um, you know how you make not the noises, don't you? <laughs> yeah, so babies are noisy, mm -hmm. and those noises are not indicative of her having a hard time breathing or being yeah, upset. Or, so. Yeah, she's just. I'm like, she's like not sleeping. Like, and like, she probably is sleeping, just not quietly because. Okay. You know, She looks good. I mean, besides her just skin, her skin's not horrible everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's mainly in the baby eczema yeah. area, which is the face at this age. She's outgrowing this size. She's trying to hold on to that diaper. So I'm outgrowing this one, mama. It's a big girl. Look, you got this gap in here. All right, that's good. Are these newborns? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah that's the right time. And you use up what you have, but. And all these blue spots are fine. They'll just fade with time or not. Sometimes they don't, but they, they do fade. They mm -hmm. just... Yeah, and so lots of tummy time for her. Oh, you turn your head. Daddy's got the camera on. Oh, look at daddy. There you go. Oh, look at that face. So, and then I would just, when you're, um, after you've fed her and you've burped her, try to get her to open her eyes a second before laying her down. Gonna be hard. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, oh, just a second. Come on, come on. I know you can do it. Oh, I know you almost did it. You almost opened those eyes. Who's talking to you? Come on, open up and see. Yeah. Are you only breastfeeding or are you formula feeding too? Breastfeeding. All right, and you have her on the vitamin D drops. Have you started those? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna get you some of those. By one month of age, we need to start vitamin D with her. And I won't see her again until she's two months. So we've got them. There you go. You're awake. You go with <laughs> open eyes. Um, <laughs> she she's like, where am I? <laughs> she's going to get that one shot in her leg so you can <laughs> get her dressed if you want to. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. When you'll be in to do her one shot, no fever expected or pain mm -hmm. after the shot. So you don't need any Tylenol today. I would go ahead and buy the infant Tylenol for her two month visit. Mm -hmm. Don't use it beforehand. Just see if she needs it later that day. Oh, we should really get some smaller band-aids for uh -oh. little Those ladies. So far. Just clean her for now. Don't do it Hi, Oh, it's right here. Okay, mm -hmm. baby, are you ready? We'll show you real quick. Mm -hmm. As soon as I tell you, you can pick her up, okay, Mom? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so you did this. I didn't do it. You did this I to me. I didn't do it. This is for your own health and safety. You tricked me. I'm so sorry. Why you had to do that? I'm so sorry. I love you. That hurt. <laughs> 
I love you so much. I'm so sorry. I know. See? I know. <laughs> I know. Oh. Mm. <laughs> So that is it for Nala's one month appointment. She got her shot. She looked devastated. Yeah, she cried really loud, but. I never heard it, her cry that loud. Yeah, it's the first time we heard her cry that loud, but that was, it didn't last long. It lasted about 10 seconds. Yeah, but she just gave me the death stare, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna just try to comfort her and we'll see y'all a little bit later in the next clip. Alright. Mm, bye. Bye. It's okay. Okay, so this is the same day and we are now at Baby Mama Colors uh, follow-up appointment. So, usually this is six weeks out there, but we're at about five weeks right now. <laughs> You okay? <laughs> you okay? It's hard. It hurts to sit down. Uh -huh. We're here to check on baby mama. Make sure she's all good to go. Yep. Make sure my vagina is okay so that I can get my life together. So I've been having some minor issues, but issues nonetheless. You know, I want to make sure my vagina works after this. Snap back. You know, what's snap back? It just, it looks snap back, but you know. It don't feel that way. And I'm bleeding still, so. Heavy bleeding, little bit of bleeding. It's been heavy bleeding, but today it don't seem that bad, so. We'll see what she says. She gotta look at my vagina home. It's always the day when you come to the doctor that the problem's not around anymore. Terrible. <laughs> and for me to only have two stitches, I should be good to go. But that's what's going on. We just wait for the doctor to come back in. Now it is back asleep, child. Um, she was awake for about 10 minutes. I heard in the doctor's appointment that she was uh, have eczema. And I thought she was coming down with it. And my suspicions is right because I've seen baby acne, but baby acne isn't this tough. That these are a little bit more drier. And yeah, so you see like here around her lip area, around her cheek, you see it scaling. Her eyebrows, every time I wipe her eyebrows, you'll see like scales and stuff like that. And the way that this is smoothing over is signs of eczema. So uh, the doctor confirmed that today. And if you see her ear, yeah, you see that? Mm -hmm. So those are signs of eczema. And then when you look at their hands and wrists, it's usually like scaly or a little dry. You'll see those little dry particles. So, yeah, she's getting eczema. So, so what is that? Vaseline. So you, people use like Eucerin or um, Aquaphor or Acetafil, stuff like that. So I was putting on Aquaphor on her at the bath, but I didn't consistently do it because it, it was my own speculation that I should use that. But she just confirmed it that I, I should be using it. So. I will be doing that uh, more often now. But yeah, she is sound asleep. <laughs> All right, so how did it go? It looks like it was pretty quick. Oh. Was it quick? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was 22 hours. Oh, it wasn't quick. Uh. <laughs> it was 22 hours. So I guess, you, I guess you could have made it, huh? <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I guess I could, but it was like, as soon as I woke up feeling playing and when I went to the bathroom, my water broke and then my contraction was three minutes apart immediately. I was like, oh my God. Well, you got an epidural, right? It, yeah, you know, but it broke. It didn't work well? No, absolutely not. You Look told, at that beautiful girl. Yeah, she here, so I guess that's all the baby. Yeah, that's all she did. This. <laughs> she eats, right? Yeah, she eats, but she can go wild. Are you breastfeeding? Mm -hmm. How long can she go? She can go like four hours. Don't let her go more than that. No. Okay. I, go. I tried to just force her up or yeah. whatever, but this, this about as much as she, she gaining can. weight. You seen your PD? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, he she, just came from the appointment. Yeah. Yeah. And, and eight he, pounds, thirteen ounces. Oh, I guess she's fine. What was she born at? Six, Six pounds, four. four ounces. Yeah, well, I guess she's doing fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that she just take good. bigger increments now. How are you feeling? 
I am on my way. Uh, is this a certain little things that's bothering me? All right, we'll take a look. They said it should have been down by now, but since it wasn't much of a tear. But. Uh huh. It says you had a small intraoral abrasion. That's all it says. The repair with through a vehicle. Doesn't say exactly where. I'll take a look. Are you bottle feeding too or just breastfeeding? Bottle. So she's not breastfeeding? She's breastfeeding and is just pumping up through the bottle. You're pumping and then be feeding with the bottle? Mm -hmm. Well, that's like twice the work, you know. <laughs> like, for at night, it's going to get too much. And she's not nursing at all? No, she's nursing. Uh huh. Yeah, I just bottle feed for her. Just convenience at night. <laughs> all right, come on down. What was the last pathway you got here? I'm sorry. I'm gonna look and see when's the last tap smear we did. Let's we'll see if we do for one. Don't come around to your mom.